In the race to win the European Championship of Autonomous Driving, what separates the pretenders from the contenders? Glenn DeVos provides a glimpse into the winning playbook. I think some of the important questions you would ask a technology provider, whether it's a tier one or an OEM or just say a new entrant in the market, is a, a little bit about understanding the fundamentals of their technology. What are they basing that on? Is it is it an end-to-end -end machine learning approach or is it really based on strong policy and behavioral rules and, 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 a, and a really well-architected system. It is critical to have sensors that work at all kinds of temperature extremes, the noise, the vibration, and harshness of the open road, and last for the life of the vehicle, or what the industry calls automotive grade. What's their sensor strategy? Is it, are they claiming they can do it all with one sensor, or are they really looking at a more complete multimodal sensor ap approach like we are? Equally important is the processing speed to move all of this information in time to keep a car from crashing. What's their history and capability relative to high complexity computing platform development? Do they really have the experience to bring on what will be the most powerful computer to ever go into a car? There, you know, that is not something that's done easily. That is very complex. And it's one thing to put a bunch of PCs in a car, it's another thing to really integrate and package it automotive grade. Finally, testing signals to the car companies who really knows their stuff and who just talks a good game. You know, what have they done on the roads? What kind of data are they collecting? What are their real life test observations? Are they really out there trying it? Or are they still kind of in parking lots or closed courses or, or just PowerPoints? 